This video focuses on configuration of a Linksys wireless router. Linksys products are commonly used in residential and small business settings for both wired and wireless connectivity. Knowing how to configure a residential grade router provides an opportunity to easily apply various wireless concepts. Because many wireless routers share similar functionality and configuration interfaces, knowing this information will enable you to set up wireless devices of many brands and models. The first step in configuring the router is to establish a wired connection between a switch port on the router and your PC's NIC. This wired connection is used to configure the router and can be disconnected after the initial configuration is complete. This connectivity is accomplished through use of a standard Ethernet patch cable. Next, launch a web browser and enter 192.168.1.1 in the address bar, which is the default management IP address for the Linksys router. If prompted for a username and password, enter those credentials in order to enter the router. You may need to consult the router's documentation to find these values. Completing these steps brings you to the web-based management interface. At the top of the interface, many different tabs enable you to configure many different network parameters. The Setup tab enables configuration of basic network settings. These include the internal network DHCP pool, the internal address of the router, and ISP parameters such as DNS server addresses and whether or not your router is assigned a public IP address through DHCP or static assignment. The Administration tab includes the Management button. This is where you change the password from its default value as well as supply a username. Always be sure to change the password from its default because default passwords are easily obtainable from internet websites. If someone attempts to break into your router, the first password they will try is the default password. The Wireless tab enables you to set what are considered to be basic wireless settings, as well as wireless security. Basic wireless settings include the wireless standard being used, such as 802.11a, b, g, and n. The service set identifier is the name of the wireless network and is also assigned in the basic wireless section. The wireless channel, such as 1, 6, or 11, is also configured here and is dependent on the wireless standard being used. One of the most important configuration tasks is the implementation of wireless security. By default, many wireless routers ship with security measures disabled. If wireless security is not configured, information traveling across the wireless medium can easily be intercepted by other parties. This information can include credit card numbers, email, and any other traffic on the wireless link. Clicking on the wireless security button enables you to configure many different types of security algorithms. Begin security configuration by choosing the most robust security mode available, which is PSK2. If you do not see PSK2 in the menu, look for WPA2, which is equivalent. You may see many choices for the security mode. Many of these are older modes that are included for backward compatibility with older wireless devices. Next, setting encryption with the most robust security algorithm, AES, is recommended. Finally, enter a passphrase or security key that is shared by the router and the wireless devices that access the network. There may be more configuration parameters available depending on the make and model of your wireless router. Some manufacturers, including Linksys, ship a quick setup CD which enables near effortless configuration. We encourage you to experiment with as many settings as possible and consult the router's documentation to learn the complete range of the device's functionality. Most consumer-grade wireless routers include a factory reset button. In the event you lose your password or encounter setup problems and wish to start over, this button can be used to reset the configuration to factory default settings. Finally, to ensure connectivity, don't forget to configure your wireless device settings to match those of your wireless router. We hope this video helps you learn to perform basic wireless router configuration tasks.